<sighs> oh. Looks like the onion left. <laughs> Came back there. Alright, I guess this is everyone. I call the strategy me meeting to order. Copy that. Here's the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered, thanks to the efforts of Blue Toad. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown, and the SS Shepherd is out of commission. All things considered, a primary mission, the rescue of Captain Olmar, has run into some roadblocks. Our first priority is to is now the re search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers. Blue Toad, Ochi. Fly to the area where our radar picked up those distress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. We will provide direction and guidance from here. Don't worry, we'll be uh, uh, available via the SS Shepherd's wireless communications at all times. So you have our full support. I wouldn't typically assign so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll be in good pause with Ochi by your side. You two make a great team. Captain, what about our search for Captain Olimar? Should we officially put it on pause? No, we may still find him during our hunt for, our, for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our mission list, just in case. On that note, I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. Captain Olmar's is shipwrecked on an unknown planet. Discover his whereabouts while you search for your missing miss for the missing rescue corps officers. Complete uh, collect 1,500 units of sparkling to finish the day and to complete the demo. Uh, afterward, you can receive rewards from both Smart Up and uh, Pikmin Bloom to receive the full reward in game. Explore. I think we can actually get a few more things before we go. Let's just call out some Pikmin out of the ship. That was really slow. But let's get some more Pikmin before we start, because I think because this is the only area that we can actually access on foot, it is actually going to allow us to move location, which is interesting. Like, this is probably something that we've wanted for a long time, is just different landing locations in, like, as one area. But this sounds, like, really interesting now. Is that all of the spots? I think it is. Also, I probably should have been sending two Pikmin at a time to carry stuff back faster. Oh, we reached the limit already? That's odd. Huh? The onion stopped spitting out seeds. Based on life signs from inside the onion, there are clearly more Pikmin in there. Maybe Pikmin have evolved to self-limit. How many can be out on the surface at a time to prevent unnecessary loss? That is interesting, because we definitely don't have a hundred. Our limit is actually twenty. So maybe it's based on how, mu how much we upgrade stuff. Because as we play this game, there are also upgrades and ability unlocks that we have to get as well, in addition to everything else we have to collect. Which I'm, I'm quite pleased with as well, so... You'll be pleased to learn that I installed a new... Uh, a few new apps onto your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more than useful when you head up to the f when you're out in the field. So check them out when you have some a spare minute. Now that we have that all sorted out, are you ready to get to get out there and explore? Uh bye just just give me bye for now. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. So come find me. Let me just quickly check my tablet. Status report. Okay, it doesn't have what I thought it might have with upgrading stuff. Ah, uh, but that's okay. Let's go. Ready to explore. Which area would you like to explore? Also, I probably might have put, should have put the Pikmin back? I don't know. It's something I'm going to have to learn, so. Sun Speckled Terrace. Looks like there might be a missing rescue officer here. We need to get out there and find them. Let's go.
Oh, the onion's going too! This is so cool. <laughs> also, it shows us, like, the... Oh, uh, the... All the stuff. All the stat, stats. Oh my goodness. Also, we need so much sparklium. That's fine. I mean, the longer the, this goes, the better, so... But oh my goodness, this is great. Also, this place is really beautiful. Well, here we are. It's a shame the other two wouldn't want to come and pick Pikmin for me, if I needed them. Come in, come in! This is Colin. Looks like you made it there in one piece. Hang on, I'll have the captain explain how today's r rescue operation will work. Oh boy. See the clock at the top left corner of the screen? It's, a, it's set up so that the hand will reach the sun, the rightmost edge. At the era's local sunset time. Oh my goodness, local times? In game? Like, how, how much is that going to come up? I really want to know now. Because if it like... I don't know, if it's like sun and... Like, if it's day in one part of the, the game and, and night in one another part, that'd be really cool. Search for our missing rescue officers during the day, but hustle back to, re to the rescue command post before dark. I'm on the job. I'm not going to say copy that anymore. I have decided. <laughs> Try to remember that you're supposed to respond with copy that. Anyway, get out there and make us proud. Oh, you probably noticed that the onion accompanied the SS Beagle. According to the voyage log, the onion also serves as a form of transportation for the Pikmin. Got a lot to do, and you can take all the help. Uh, you can take all the help we can get. I think that could put those Pikmin to good use. Okay, let's go. We need to probably go quickly. Also, Y plus down is how you get more Pikmin out quickly. Or auto. There's a lot of stuff here. I'm concerned at how much stuff there is, but also that's really cool. Let's try and get some more stuff before moving on. If you need to complete a task, press A. Hang on, what is this? That's a pretty rock, isn't it? It doesn't seem like a treasure, but it might be useful. I'll check Captain Olimar's voyage log. Ah, uh, raw materials. One could mistake this raw material for a simple stone. But it has more in common with amber and other fossilized biolo biological matter. When heated, it melts down into bra a brown clay and becomes uh, malleable. I should be able to find a find many applications for it. Also, love how like simplistic Captain Olmar's notes are with the picture. Hello. I'm a fair hand with machines, but I don't know much about material science. If we had our scientist back, I bet he'd be able to make good use of this. Collect it for now. He'll be excited to have something to work with after we find him. So yeah, we're probably going to want to collect as much of this as possible. Now I'm sure that these are going to come back to the spot when they have deposited that. So we need to keep that in mind for future reference that they go back to where they collected stuff. It actually looks like they don't once they have run out of possible stuff to collect. Which, that is kind of concerning because, I mean, it's probably good. But it's so different to what I'm used to. Let me also try and sneak up on this bob orb. Because if we can take it out, we can if we can throw a Pikmin directly onto it, it should die in one hit, maybe. There we go. We should be able to need three Pikmin to carry it back to the onion. But that's our first enemy. Let's get this five pellet. Probably put more than enough on there. Just to make sure that goes by quickly. Come on, lazy bones. I'm gonna say that a lot, probably. Interesting, why did these go back here? Maybe the pellets were picked up by one Pikmin each. I'm already having problems <laughs> with old style problems. Also, I can just call back all these Pikmin because they I can't I can only have 20 at a time, so. Oh, I can also take that back to the other area by the looks of it. So that's interesting. Also, the day is passing by, so I need to hurry up. 
Come in, Blue Toad. I forgot an important detail. That is, you're going to need Ochi's help when it comes to searching for rescue officers. Oh my goodness, he has this command. Or is this going by very quickly? He's a sharp sense of smell, so he'll be able to locate rescue officers by tracking their scents. Use Y to open actions. And then use the left control, control, control stick to select a search command. So to begin with, command Ochi to pick up a scent. You never know where his nose may lead you. Rescue operations are race against time. So put your Dandori skills to work to find our rescue officers quickly. You look a little confused. Have you never heard of the term Dandori before? Blue Toad, how to explain? Dandori is an art of organizing your tasks strat strategically and working with maximum efficiency to ex execute your plans quickly. Its, its practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years. But it's still a core tenant of the Rescue Corps, so take it to heart. Embracing the art of Dandori is essential to our work, and you'll need it out there while searching for our rescue officers. To get things started, open y open your actions with Y, uh, and command Ochi to sniff out our missing captain, co uh, missing co comrades. There is so much text. <laughs> Command. Uh, castaways? I think I just want him to pick up a scent. Oh, follow the scent, Ochi. Looks like we're going this way, not the other way. Also, these grew back pretty quick. Or well, maybe they just stay like that. They might just stay like that. Oh, another bulb orb. There's also a strawberry up there. A sunseed berry. Okay, let's do something about this wall. Let's just break it open. Demolish! Oh, there's a cave. Also, hey, we can actually collect these. That's interesting. Maybe that's why it takes it back to the onion and doesn't come back for it, if it's not in a pile. Look! There's a cave here too! This rare area is crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers could have retreated into the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. Okay. Probably should jump in sooner rather than later, although... Right Ready to these coordinates. Yep, here it is. Last Frost Cavern. I entered a cave to look for uh, SS Dolphin parts and found a creature that defies the logic of space. It further surprised me by expelling frigid cold air. Imagine if there were, were Pikmin that had been acclimated... How, how do I say that? Acclimatized to that cold air. This planet's ecosystem is full of mysteries. Honey. Take a look at this. That Captain Olimar certainly is thorough, isn't he? According to the log, anytime you enter a cave, you should take Pikmin with you. The SS Beagle can bring the Pikmin so you can enter the cave without stopping by the base first. The Pikmin that remained on the surface can't just be left out here. So let's return them to the Onion for the time being. So I guess if we enter a cave, we'll just return the Pikmin to the Onion. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, but also... Where are they on the map? Hang on, how do I... How do I map? I forgot how to map. Oh, radar map. Probably. I noticed you look... You look... You're looking at the radar map just now. Why don't I tell you about a handy little function it has? The system will mark discovered caves and cleared areas with a down arrow or sideways arrows. If you go to that spot, the symbol disappears. It's a very useful way to keep track of your objectives. Okay, so if it's a cave that we have to go into for treasure, it's just like down arrow. But if it's a tunnel, I imagine it's like sideways arrows. I just want to make sure that those Pikmin get back. 
That's all I want to know, really. I mean, I should probably go back and get them. Because the more Pikmin, the better. Probably. But I don't know. It's a shame I can't just call them from over here. I have time. I'll go do it. Let's go. <clears throat> Quick. Go. Run. Also, maybe we don't have to worry about food supplies. It's probably fine. There's a lot of like, extra stuff we can explore here as well. Let me just make sure that these are fine, but this might be some nectar, which would be good for us. Yep, nectar. Let's go! Did you see that? It bloomed in uh, a flower. What's going on here? Hmm. That substance is called nectar. Where Pikmin consume it, when Pikmin consume it, it stimulates their growth, apparently. The voyage log says that they more, uh, the more they grow, the faster they move. They really are mysterious creatures. Let's try and get as many Pikmin flowers as we can. I don't know if there's a better way to charge things like in Pikmin 3, but oh well. Uh, let's... Oh, hello. Is that another landing site? I think it might be. We're pretty far from the SS Beagle. I want to get this if I can. Let me just get rid of this fiery blowhog. Since we've got fire, uh, red Pikmin, we actually have fireproof to this thing's attacks, which is good. Huh? Another circle of stones. We keep finding them in mo the most opportune locations. How interesting. Maybe Captain Omar left them behind so, uh, for us so we could track him down? Never mind that for now. I wonder if we're in this creature's territory. We should create a base here. Any Dandori master would tell you, it's the most efficient way forward. But first, let's do something about that pesky creature already. I'm trying to. Also, when it throws our Pikmin off, they will also lose some of their growth, unfortunately. Also, I don't know if our dog friend is fireproof. Come on. There we go. Got it. Rugged Scaffold. Okay, so this is actually the name of the site. Move base. That's really cool. But that will allow us to make good decisions like this, where we can actually move things to the closest base, maybe. But we have to actually have that base set up, is the thing. We can't just, like, go to this base. No, we have to actually go set up a base there when we want to move it there. Okay, well, let's go into this hole, then. I just wanted to have a closer base, basically. To this hole. Sub-level 1. Oh, we can actually, like, change the Pikmin numbers? Okay, that's interesting. That's actually probably going to be very helpful. Love that theme. I missed it from- I missed it when we entered the other cave, but I'm so glad to have that in my ear now. Hmm. Another circle. Must be because it's an actual cave to explore and get treasures from. Good boy, Ochi. He's picked up a castaway scent. He has to be one of our missing rescue officers. Time to get them back to safety. Okay. We have our thing here as well, so we can actually get some treasures if we need to. Also, these things, these grubs, these white ones, I can't remember if they're male or female. One of them, the purple versions of these ones, are, will attack a Pikmin, but these ones won't. Is what I'm trying to say. Also, we're storing it as treasure, apparently. What's this? That's not a treasure. Huh? Treasure or not, it does appear to ha contain some sparklium. You might as well uh, keep collecting those defeated creatures. They may be enough to help, even in, uh, if only a little. Not that we probably need them as much as actual sparkly stuff. So. We probably don't want to do that too much, especially not in this demo, possibly. Perfect, wow. I didn't expect that to be so perfect. Also, hey, some more nectar. Also, bad things. 
Gotta take a second to regroup. Get some extra nectar. That was worth a fair bit for that compass. Need all the energy we can. Also, hey, can I, how do I dismiss my Pikmin? I don't think I can dismiss my Pikmin. Actually, no, I can. If I hold that and disband, that's a lot of work, but that's okay. Why did that not work? There we go. I have to press Y. Are those wild Pikmin? Come here. Why can't I not call them? Maybe I just can't? Ah! Also, we have a health bar. I noticed that before and I didn't mention it. Maybe that's fine? Are you using the radar map? Uh, no, because it's, I'm finding it difficult to just open. Although I think it's, if I press minus, no, plus. Yeah, plus. What's happening over there? Is that fine? I think that's fine. I think it's just lost Pikmin. Kind of. I want these ice Pikmin though. Look for unexplored locations. Maybe I need the rest of my Pikmin to do this. Which seems odd. But it's fine. Come here, my Pikmin. Don't freeze. Oh, no, that's not good. Is the poor thing frozen? Maybe we'll respond to the whistle. So whistle to save Pikmin that are in distress. That's a pretty common rule. Ice Pikmin. Are those, those, these Pikmin too? No, that's a different thing. Pikmin 2 is a... Yeah, it's fine. Sorry, that was a bad joke. It was... Anyway. Let's see, the voyage log says... I always thought of Pikmin as plant-like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Ice Pikmin can... Use their icy bozzy, bo 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 bodies to freeze water and creatures. They also like... Also float like ice in, wa in the water. Don't spray them with water, though. They really don't like it. Their body bodies are, are made of ice. Who knew something that that something frozen could move around like that? It's incredible. No. Huh? That seems like a lot of Pikmin. Is this squad bigger than normal? Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have larger squad because the wild Pikmin you you find will join you. Interesting. Anyway, let me try and lock onto the correct things. I might actually try... I'm gonna try switching to Joy-Cons if I can. Just to see if it actually allows me to aim without it locking on or something. Uh... The answer is no, actually. I think. Yeah, it's about the same. There might be different control modes, but yeah. I just don't like it how much it locks on all the time. Especially on- I guess we don't have to worry about it. We can still move, but it just locks on. And you might want to target something else. But anyway, let's switch our Pikmin group around so we can actually choose what we want to throw around. Because we can throw our Ice Pikmin into this Nectar. There we go. I don't think I need to work. Oh, black ones, dark ones, purple ones. That's not good. It might actually be a good idea to freeze them. It, it froze. Don't just stand there. Now's your chance. Freeze. Got them. So yeah, I'm probably going to want to freeze them if I can. Freeze! I mean, if I just land on it, it's fine, so... I just don't like these things. Also, let me push this. Like that. One more. There we go. There's also something back here. 
Oh, hey. That looks important. Looks very important. Is it what I think it is, or is it something else? I think it's something else. Does it look like it's sputtering? It looks pretty pale for an onion. What do you think? Should we take it with us? I think so, but I have no idea what this is. I, like, it could be onion? But it could not also not be onion. Like, it doesn't have the legs by the looks of it, so what is this? What is this? I don't know. I'm gonna just take these back. I, I don't really want to, but I just will anyway. Huh. This onion is different somehow. Let's take it back to the surface so we can compare it with the other onion. Is it a... pupper onion? <laughs> that sounds weird. Just gonna get all my pigment back before I continue. Like, this is a strange, but I'm intrigued. Also, the other pigments smart? Yeah, they're smart. They don't get stuck on the edge of that, which is good for us. Let's also get this back. That should be good. Let's freeze this. Because we have to freeze by the looks of it. Or do we have to just break it? Might be wrong. No, we did need to freeze it. Just like that, frozen solid. I bet you can break it if you hit it now. Give the order for the Pikmin or Ochi. So, okay, I was right. That's really cool though. Like, really cool. Also, we get pieces of it. Hydro jelly. Cool. Also, hello. Are you alright? Oh no, he's dead! We found a castaway. Hurry and check out, check their vitals. Pulse, blood pressure, temperature, all within normal parameters. Looks like their life support system did its job. We should transport them back to the SS Beagle and verify their ID badge. Come on, catch up, Pikmin. There we go. Also, how do we have more ice, Pikmin? When did I get more ice, Pikmin? I don't know. Must have just found more somewhere. You did it! Let's take a look and see what the ID, ID badge tells us. Hey, this is... Not from a teen... <laughs> it's Russ, an inventor, material engineer, and lover of all things science. He can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right raw materials. I'm glad that this is all this information on his badge. Oh, thank the stars he's alright. This is Russ, the scientist in charge of, the, of repairs and upgrades for our spaceship suits and the SS Shepard. His techni technical knowledge will be beyond helpful during this rescue mission. Found the scientist. I'm getting worse and worse at speaking, it's not even funny. You found Russ, the Rescue Corps' talented scientist. Keep searching for the rest of the rescue officers. I think the problem that I have when speaking is I try to speak too fast. We all down, done down here? We might be. Yeah, we've got 100% of the last Frost Cavern. We just collect a little bit more of this nectar with the Pikmin that need it the most. If I can, I can't see if there are any more bulbs left. Buds, that one. Let me just make sure I'm not wrong about this. Yeah, they are smart now. <laughs> they actually go around things. Ah, <sighs> I mean, they, they, were, they were good in Pikmin 3, but also this is, this is next level, basically. They've really thought out this game. Return to surface. This just feels good, to 
to be playing a Pikmin game like this again. Especially since it's going to have multiplayer, or it does have multiplayer. That's going to be like the best Pikmin game by default, probably. It's got, it has all the best features of the previous games. Director of Destiny. <laughs> Refreshing goo. And also creatures. Investigation complete. I wonder if it has the the secret if you stay on the, on the screen forever. Probably not. That was only in the GameCube version anyway, of two. But we got all the rescuers, and the treasure, and the onions. So we got 100%. Zero lost Pikmin, 10 new ones. And we can actually look at the sub-level details. Interesting. That's gonna be super helpful.